Now you have your lining and your fabric sewn together, right sides out, and pressed. It's time to pleat your swag. Lay your panel fabric side up with your top edge of your swag laying towards you. That's the short curved edge. And I'm going to pan here a little bit so that you can see what I mean. The larger curved edge is away from you and the shorter one is towards you. You can start on either side to start pleating. It doesn't matter. We'll go ahead and start on my right side. And you start with this corner here. You're going to fold your fabric where the triangle goes inward here. And your first fold is going to have this piece actually fold under. Align, aligning these raw, raw edges here. Aligning the raw edges and tucking everything under like this. Okay, so here's your piece. I want it aligned a little bit better than that actually. And you might have to shake and fold your swag to get your fabric to do what you want to do. But there's the underneath part, and there's how it lays, and you want to pin this in place. Ideally, you want to pin it twice, like this. Now, from here on out, you're going to use this line as a guide, and you want all of your pleats to line along a straight edge going across. So you start with this next one here. And again, you're going to fold at that end piece, and you're going to align this raw edge down with this raw edge. So when you fold it, you bring it down. Again, you kind of cut the shake things. You're going to also fold down this corner too, aligning the raw edges, aligning the raw edges here. And you want it so that everything's kind of turned so that this is starting to create a straight edge. Take this pin out here and use it to pin this in place. And again, pin one more time, about an inch in. Okay? And you're going to continue. You take from this edge here, fold it up, fold it at this corner here, aligning the raw edges. camera in front of me here so that you can get the best possible angle of pleating. So I might nudge the camera here and there as I'm doing this. I want you to see how this is done. Again, you kind of shake and fold that fabric so that it turns for you a little bit. Just like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just neat. Okay, getting that edge as straight as possible can make a big difference when you go to install it. Alright. And then one more time here. Last one. Fold it. Up. And This one here. Pin that in place. Okay. Now this is a strange looking edge here, but it's okay because when you go to install it, this is actually all going to be hidden. Okay, so now you have 
everything pleated on one side and pinned twice. Now what you want to do is you want to take it to your machine and sew a straight edge one inch in from this raw edge here. And try to keep this as straight as possible when you're doing it. It's naturally curving on its own a little bit, so do a little pull when you're running it through the machine. One inch in, one all the way across to secure those pleats. To instantly download the ebook for sewing swag curtains and jabots, click on the 15% coupon below to receive a discount on your next purchase at windowvalencepatterns.com.